హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ దిస్ వీడియో ఈజ్ అబౌట్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఆఫ్ క్లాస్ ఫోర్త్ ఈవీఎస్ చాప్టర్స్ చాప్టర్ ఫైవ్ సాలిడ్స్ లిక్విడ్స్ అండ్ గ్యాసెస్ హియర్ ఫస్ట్ విల్ సి రివైజ్ అండ్ రికాల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇన్ దట్ ఫస్ట్ మెయిన్ స్టేట్ వెదర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ ట్రూ ఆర్ ఫాల్స్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ద పార్టికల్స్ ఇన్ అ సాలిడ్ ఆర్ వెరీ క్లోజ్లీ ప్యాక్డ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ట్రూ second one solids can be poured into a container false third gas particles cannot move freely false fourth melting is a process in which a liquid changes into a solid false second main choose the appropriate word from the text box to fill in the blanks in the box it is given as condensation evaporation solids freezing and melting here first one the process by which a liquid changes into a its gaseous form on heating is called dash the process by which a liquid changes into its gaseous form on heating is called evaporation second the process by which a liquid changes into a solid on cooling is called dash the process by which a liquid changes into a solid on cooling is called freezing third one the process by which a solid changes into a liquid on heating is called dash the process by which a solid changes into a liquid on heating is called melting fourth the process by which a gas changes into a liquid on cooling is called dash this process by which a gas changes into a liquid on cooling is called condensation fifth one in dash there is very less space between the particles in solids there is very less space between the particles now exercise questions first main choose the correct option for each of the following first question the state of matter in which particles are closely packed option a solid b liquid c gas d all of these here the correct answer is option a solid the state of matter in which particles are closely packed that is solid second question oil is an example of a options are a solid b liquid c gas d none of these answer is liquid oil is example of a liquid third question which of the following is a gas option a ice b milk c steam d juice answer is steam which of the following is a gas steam is a gas whereas others are not fourth question identify the substance that exist in all the three states of matter the given options are a pencil b water c orange d eraser here the answer is water so water is the substance that exists in all the three states of matter fifth question the solid fifth question the solid that dissolves in a liquid is called option a solvent b season c solution d solute here the correct answer is solute the solid that dissolves in a liquid is called solute second main b fill in the blanks with the correct words first one matter can exist in dash states here the answer is 3 or 6 3 
matter can exist in three states solid liquid and gases second dash have a fixed shape and volume either solids or liquids answer is solids solids have a fixed shape and volume third air is an example of a dash solid or gas air is an example of a gas fourth particles in dash can move freely in any direction solids or gases answer is gases particles in gases can move freely in any direction fifth one in a salt solution dash is the solvent salt or water answer is water in a salt solution water is the solvent third mean c state whether the following statements are true or false first one light is a matter false second there is a lot of space between particles in a solid false third liquids take the shape of the container into which they are poured true fourth water exists in three different forms true fifth tearing paper is a chemical change false fourth mean d give reasons for the following in that first question solids are hard and have a fixed shape size and volume answer because particles are packed very close to each other second question liquids can flow from a higher level to a lower level answer because particles are not very closely packed in the liquids third one physical changes are reversible answer because we can get the original substance that even after the change takes place fourth question heating increases the solubility of a liquid answer because heating the liquid makes the solvent particles to move faster enabling the solute dissolve quickly fifth question water is called a universal solvent because water dissolves almost everything fifth main answer the following questions briefly first question what is matter due to examples answer anything that has mass and space is called matter example air water stone pen second question name the three states of matter answer the three states of matter are solids liquids and gases third question what are solids write two examples answer the substance that have a fixed shape and a volume are called solids example rock book pen fourth question what is the difference between a solute and a solvent answer we'll see the difference between solute and solvent solute is the solid that dissolve in liquid example salt and sugar solvent the liquid in which the solute is dissolved example water and milk fifth question what happens when a solute dissolve in a solvent answer when a solute dissolve in a solvent the solute break down into tiny particles these solute particles occupy the empty space between the solvent particles next mean f answer the following questions first question how are solids liquids and gases different from each other so we will see the difference between solids and liquids and gases solids have fixed shape and volume whereas liquids have fixed volume but not fixed shape whereas 
gases have no fixed shape and no fixed volume in the solids very less space between the particles in the liquids space between the particles is more than in solids gases here more space between the particles as compared to solids and liquids in the solids it cannot flow whereas liquids can flow from higher level to lower level and gases can flow in all directions second question explain how matter can change from one state to another answer take ice cubes in a beaker and keep it outside for some time observe the changes next point then take water in a pan and heat it observe what happens here figure is shown in a beaker some ice cubes are taken and it is kept outside for some time it changes into liquid so from the above activity it is clear that matter can change from one state to another when it is heated or cooled second question explain how a solute dissolve in a solvent with the help of a diagram answer when we add a solute in a solvent the solute break down into tiny particles that get distributed uniformly among the particles of the solvent the solid particles occupy the empty spaces between the solvent particles as shown in the following figure so this is the figure of a solute and this is solvent both forms a solution third question explain physical and chemical changes with the help of examples answer first we will see physical change physical change in which no new substance is formed and there is merely a change of state is called a physical change example of physical change are melting of ice freezing of water and boiling of water next one is a chemical change a chemical change is a change in which a new substance is formed is called as a chemical change example of chemical change are burning of paper burning of wax candle etc now critical thinking questions in that first question monica dissolved two spoonfuls of sugar to a glass of water she noted that the level of water in the glass remained the same can you explain why the water level did not increase answer the level of water remains same as the sugar particles occupy empty space between the water molecules